Same thing for Neanderthals, our supposedly closest, nearest kin until just recently. Neanderthal fingertip bone, human fingertip bone. Segment of Neanderthal thigh bone, human thigh bone. Look at the difference. Not even close. This is quarters to dimes, shovel handles to broomsticks. No comparison. Our supposed, and, and we used to be told absolutely they insisted they swore. We came directly from those guys. Now, what are bones like this all about? What's, what's the deal here? Why are they so robust? Your bones are a function of the torque your muscles can generate. Your, muscles, your bones have to be able to withstand the pressure that your muscles can generate. And if not, your muscles would break your bones. So when you're looking at bones like this, you're looking at an incredibly powerful creature. What are you looking at? You're looking at primate bones, primates of the earth. This is how the primates are built. Gorillas, chimps, right on down the line. They are incredibly strong relative to us, are the primates. Five to ten times, pound for pound. Next slide. Okay, this is a chimpanzee, minus its hair due to disease, so you can see the musculature in here. And the strength of these things is amazing. Amazing. You could take a male chimp like this, not a gorilla, and put it in a room with Mike Tyson. It's a battle to the death, and they both understand that. Two or three minutes, this chimp is walking out. Now, he may be missing an ear or two. <laughs> But the chimp is walking out. The chimp can tear him limb from limb, literally, apart. Understand that. Primate strength is nothing at all like human strength. Next slide. I don't have to show you any stinking bashes.